Afternoon, preparing for the worst. Hospitals across Central Florida are holding disaster drills today. News 6 reporter Mark Lamons at Central Florida Regional, where the staff took part in a simulated terror attack. The setup today at this and other hospitals is elaborate, but that's because organizers want to make this as realistic as possible. Workers spending hours going through a disaster scenario, so they're prepared if a real one hits. Like a well-oiled machine, once the call comes in, the response team jumps into action. Like two people there, one here. Central Florida Regional in Sanford is one of 15 hospitals taking part in the full-scale disaster exercise. Dozens of volunteer victims being rushed in after a chemical attack scenario in Orlando. I'm quadriplegic, so I can't move my joints. Ashley Smith is one of those victims. As a nursing student, she's using it as a learning experience. Um, during um, stuff like this, you really learn how you work together, how you stay calm. And it's the same for hospital staff. Well, the key to making a disaster response go well is collaboration. Hospital administrators say whether big or small, they learn something during every exercise like this, helping make sure they're prepared no matter what. Rest assured, we're practicing and we're ready. The important thing to remember during all of this is that even during a training exercise, hospitals have to be prepared to take on actual emergencies as well. Organizers of this event say after today they're going to be taking a look at what they learned and if anything needs to change. In Sanford, Mark Lehman, News 6.